They were in and out in three minutes. Surveillance footage shows a large pickup truck pull up to Sierra Shields Firearms in Shingle Springs at 3.43 Tuesday morning. Three people wearing hoodies hop out of the truck and disappear a minute later at 3.44. You can see down here where it... Uh where they actually hit it down too low. Owner Chuck Galvin says the team of three used a crowbar to pry the front door open. They busted the door frame and headed for the safe behind the main counter. It was secured to the wall with bolts. They literally broke through the drywall and yanked the safe off the framing inside the wall. I assumed that they had cased so they know what was in there and uh, loaded it in the back of a truck and, and drove it off. They dragged the stack on brand safe across the floor, propped it up in the bed of the truck and drove away. The whole thing lasted two minutes and 56 seconds. Without the flag on it? Inside the safe was eight rifles and shotguns, including two of these Ruger PC9s. The stolen firearms are valued at more than $4,000. Chris Puza owns the ammunition store across the street. We're very close in terms of proximity to each other. So it's always a concern when there's a break in, especially in this industry where you're dealing with firearms and ammunition. Both he and Galvin are hoping the people in this video are caught. Galvin says the truck appears to be an early 2000s Chevy GMC. Unfortunately, the video itself is black and white. So we don't know what color, we just know it's not white. It seemed like it didn't have any lights for the license frame, so you couldn't see that it had a license plate or not. Take a good look to see if you recognize this truck. You can see a tow hitch on the rear bumper and tool storage box in the back bed, just under the cab's rear sliding window. In Shingle Springs, Walter McCalla, KCRA 3 News.